I'm Shane Salmon and I am the UVU Choreography Club president. I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and say thank you so much for supporting us and for watching our final showing of the summer in Evade. If you haven't been with us all summer and you're wondering why we're doing it over YouTube and not in a theater like we normally do, it's because we were able to do screen dances this summer. Because of COVID and unforeseen circumstances, we weren't able to use the studios and we weren't able to meet together like we normally do to be able to choreograph a dance. So at the beginning, we started to do screen dances. We had to stay separated. And then for the last two rotations, we were able to do more site specific things while we still tried to maintain six to 10 feet of distance between each other and wearing masks. We tried our best to social distance and be very careful and do our part to make sure that this current pandemic is dealt with appropriately and that we're able to help slow the spread. So I won't take up too much time here because we have a long show and we're very excited to show everything. But I just wanted to say one more time, thank you so much to all of our choreographers and dancers. You guys were wonderful to work with. We absolutely love you. You're so patient and kind with us and you helped us kind of discover this new way to do things. And you found ways to work with each other and to adapt and to still connect, even though circumstances weren't quite with we're, what we're used to and we really appreciate all of your hard work and we hope that you continue to participate into the future we we loved you guys we we really really appreciate everything you did we also wanted to say thank you to everybody else who has participated in other ways whether you've decided to watch our showings or whether you've participated in the past or helped out the club we really appreciate you guys we couldn't continue to do what we do and do what we love without all of your support so we really really appreciate it and we really hope that you enjoy the following pieces a lot of hard work was put into them they worked together beautifully they did a really great job so without further ado please enjoy the show
Hello Choreography Club, my name is Cassidy. I'm presenting a screen dance today. So it's been a very interesting and enlightening experience to put together a piece virtually with video, um, but I've had such an awesome time putting this together. It's been a real pleasure doing this project. Um, and I had such an amazing cast who really dove into this concept with me wholeheartedly and earnestly, and I really appreciate them and their efforts. So before you see my piece today, I just wanted to give you what would be my program notes if we had program notes for this type of showing. So here they are. Everything looks hauntingly familiar, but you just can't recognize anything. We are all running out of time. Take care and enjoy.
Shane Salmon. Um, you might recognize my face from the beginning of the video, but I had the privilege to be able to choreograph for this rotation for Choreography Club, and um, it was it was really fun. I learned a lot. Screen dances are challenging, but they also allow you to kind of grow and stretch and explore new ways of movement that maybe you haven't really thought of before. Um, for me, I often like to come prepared to rehearsals with all of my movement already created and sometimes it's not the most effective way to create things and it kind of blocks me from seeing different views or perspectives that I maybe wouldn't have thought of when creating the movement and so being able to collaborate with my dancers which by the way were amazing I love them and I'm really grateful that I was able to work with them um, they brought so much to the table and they were able to just work with me and come up with ideas and respond to prompts and it was just really wonderful to work with them but they were able to bring a lot more to it than i could have done by myself so doing screen dances has kind of helped me to explore a little bit more about collaborating with your dancers when it comes to creativity and how you guys kind of combine as a team to create something with this piece i didn't really have any super big intent in mind and I often like to create things that are a little more dark and spooky and that's just kind of where I lie when it comes to creative things. I kind of wanted to just try something different and like I said, it didn't really have anything in mind and so I thought about what about movement just purely for movement's sake. None of us have really danced in a while, none of us have been able to just move for fun. What if we created dance that was just movement and it's just for fun, really, like there wasn't really any super intense meaning behind it. It was just to move and to, to feel good. The dance that I created is just for the hell of it. <laughs> That's the name of it, but it was just for fun. Like just to be able to get our bodies moving and to be able to remember how dance makes us feel. So thank you for tuning into our showing and I hope you enjoy our piece.
Hi, my name is Emily Morris. I'm a modern dance major here at UVU. My piece that you're about to see is about the journey of self-love. 
it's good to be there for the ones you love and to care for them, but something I've come to learn is how important it is to take care of yourself. You always need to be thinking about what is going to help you emotionally, physically, mentally, and not just other people. So for my piece, I looked at two sides of self-love, which were caring for yourself and forgiving others, but also a view of every man for himself. And the, indie, the end it will be you being yourself and you making your own decisions. So here is my power to be. I gave all my oxygen to people that I could breathe. I gave away my money and now we don't even speak I drove miles and miles, but would you do the same for me? Oh, honestly Offered up my shoulder just for you to cry upon Gave you constant shelter and a bed to keep you warm they gave me the heartache, and in return I gave a song. It goes on and on. Life can get you down, so I just numb the way it feels. I'll drown it with a drink and out-of-date prescription pills. And all the ones that love me, they just left me on the shelf. Farewell So before I say Someone else I've got to Save myself I gave you all My energy And I took away your pain Cause human beings Are destined to Radiate or dream On what line do we Stand upon Cause from here it looks the same and only scars remain Life can get you down So I just numb the way it feels I'll drown it with a drink And out-of-date prescription pills And all the ones that love me They just left me on the shelf No farewell so before I save someone else I've got to save myself But if I don't Then I'll go back To where I'm rescuing a stranger Just because they needed saving Just like that oh, I'm here again Between the devil and but I guess it's just my nature My dad was wrong Cause I'm not like my mom Cause she just smiled And I'm complaining in a song But it helps So before I save someone else I've got to save myself Life can get you down, so I just numb the way it feels I'll drown it with a drink and out-of-date prescription pills And all the ones that love me, they just left me on the shelf No oh, farewell So before I save someone else I've got to save myself and before I blame someone else, I've got to save myself. And before I love someone else, I've got to love myself.
Grand or Legrand, I go by both. Um, uh, I am the choreographer, or as I like to say, the master of ceremonies for this piece because my dancers have been a big and amazing part in helping bring this work together, as well as my amazing editor for this uh, piece, um, Shane, who is amazing at editing, and I want to give her a shout out for her amazing help in filming and editing this piece. I wanted to give a brief little introduction about this. Um, so it's funny how I feel like the universe um, will always manifest what needs to be created even if it's not what you've planned and that's exactly what this piece was. Um, I had a totally different idea, a totally different scheme of things that I wanted to do and ultimately it, I felt like it just got all thrown out the window and I had to do something completely different because it was what needed to be created and that's what I feel like the best art is, is when it's not compulsion, it's just what happens and what manifests. And so this piece, um, it's split into two sections. The first section is called The Darkness That I Feel, and the second section is called The Light That Remains. In a large yin and yang sense, these two pieces kind of inform one another in how they complement the idea of that we go through hard things, we go through difficult emotions, we have to process things that are hard to deal with, and when we are able to fully honor them and let them have place in us, we're able to let them go. And when we let them go, we're able to find light again, that the light was always there, and that we reveal this profound connection to everything and everyone. And I wanted to highlight this idea that when we go through hard things, personally for me as well as for my dancers, um, we're able to move past them and to create light and space for growth as we find this profound connection. My favorite um, inspiration for this piece and the uh, quote that I want to use um, is the Chinese proverb of the red thread, the red thread of fate, um, that a red thread ties all those who are connected, who are destined to meet. It may stretch or tangle, but it will never break, and that we're always in some way connected to one another. So I hope you enjoy and um, come on this amazing ride with me. Thank you.